Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I'm to show you something very cool. Uh, this is a scissor made by Fit Cut Curve. It's a premium titanium coated scissor. Uh, I got this when I was in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where can you, you can find this uh, outside Japan. Uh, the, the, I paid about 500 yen uh, for this scissor and it's a decent price for scissor. And this is one very nice scissor. Okay. I've used this uh, extensively after I came back from Japan and it's uh, really good. So it's a time proven. Uh, I've, I've tested this for about uh, three months and so far I love it. Okay, so I want to show you what it's like. Okay, so I, I kept the packaging for to show you guys. Uh, here I'll just to show you briefly. Okay, so it's a it's a revolutionized uh, 3D revolution. Uh, I will explain what I what it what does it mean and uh, it's a titanium coated and they tested this uh, This scissor like a half a million times. This is half a million in Japanese It's a half a million times you can cut papers half a million times like one two three like half a million times with this scissor without losing the sharpness of the blade, okay? And here on the back there's the info you can you can read so you can cut box, thread, envelopes, uh, like uh, uh, milk cartons. In Asia, they sell milk in like these paper cartons. Okay, and this is um, other packagings and uh, cell phone packagings and flowers and even clothes. You can cut tags in the clothes. Okay, so here. So it says this is a very good example. It, it the secret of the uh, this uh, scissor staying sharp is with the curve inside the blade. You may have already noticed. Uh, and see, there's a curve in it. The, so it has. It comes with also sheath, also sheath. Okay. All right. So, but it's made in China. Okay. This, here's the company. It's a Bun, Bungu. Uh, this office supplies and bungoop.plus.co.jp Alright, so let me show you the product itself. Okay. Alright, so it comes with a sheath. You can also put your name. If you have a stickers or a dymos, you can put your name on it. And you can, there's a slot here. So with a round cap, you can press it like this doesn't make any sound whatsoever it doesn't go un unreleased unintentionally so it holds it pretty nice it's a pretty firm fit okay so it goes in nicely it goes out nicely okay very decent okay see there's a there's even distance you know it's a it's even though this is made in China the fit and finish of this scissor is very nice uh, I think because of the quality control, uh, they do really good. So, uh, you know, for the money, 500 yen, that's almost $5, uh, 5 US dollars. It's, it's unbeatable. That's very nice scissor, okay? So, I think because it's made in China, it's possible. So, the scissor itself, like the name implies, uh, here, it's, it's a fit cur curve, okay? So, not sure exactly. I think the the company who makes this is Plus. Sorry, guys. Uh, I I think I'm confused. It's a Plus, maybe. So this brand, this line is a bit cut curve. Okay. Now, this is a it has a curve in the blade. So watch this. As as I close the scissors, the all the, always the cutting part always is thirty degrees degrees uh, in the in the like thirty degrees in the cutting part. Okay. So watch this. So every scissors just they have they have a flat line. So with a, this is called the Bernoulli curve. So uh, every time you do as you go forward, you actually do cutting forward. The 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 edge, I mean the parts two blades meet has inclusive of thirty degrees. Okay, so this is the optimal degree for cutting the something. You, you, it's an optimal degree. So it's just very nice. You know, it just stays with the same angle. Okay, so let, let me just uh, cut this paper very nicely. Uh, it doesn't feel different as you cut, so 
you you don't really feel this as you cut it. Wow, wow! It, it's not like that. It's, it just feels that it feels the same. Okay, but you can cut much much more with with a sharp edge. Okay. So what's the difference again here is that they have dished out the surface of the so the of the blade. Okay. So normally most scissors have a flat spot here like this. Okay. So if you dish out the part here, uh, let me go grab ruler here. Okay. You see, there's a curve inside. There's a straight edge. If you put it against it, there's a gap between uh, the blade and the scissors. I'm in the ruler. Okay. Uh, if you dish out the blade, uh, there's less stickiness when you're cutting. So even though you have uh, something residue left on the on the part here, there may be some kind of stickers or some kind of blue, uh, it doesn't really affect the, you, the the cutting motion as you go. Okay, and the only part that are uh, meeting is the edge. Very edge part is only meeting with one blade one to other. So it has very much less area of a uh, of the contact as as the blade goes. So that's how they keep it very sharp. And the one thing is though, the color here, this is not a paint, this is titanium, okay? So titanium coating, uh, many industries uh, in metalworking industries, uh, like a drill bit or saw blades, they coat their blades with titanium. So it reduces frictions and also it reduces rust. So it's in the industry of uh, thing, it's, uh, it's used a lot and uh, it's, it's really proven, it's, it works really well. So a lot of drill bits, drill bits with the titanium coated, that works really fine. And the and the saw blades with the titanium coating, it's it's just a whole different story. Okay, it's so very nice. It's much nicer. And also they imply this in the scissors. Okay, so uh, this is high carbon steel. They don't they don't exactly tell what kind of high carbon steel it is. Uh, I can only guess. Uh, not sure, but uh, anyway. It's a high, it's a high carbon steel blade, but they also coat it with titanium, so it stays much much longer sharp. They stay sharp much much longer, and they don't really rust. Okay. They also sell these in a like a kitchen uh, kitchen knife. I mean kitchen uh, scissors. So it they have like different shape and different length and the different handle, but also the the principle of the blade and the coating is all same. So. If you are interested, you can you can check it out. So, uh, like in the previous video, I showed you the scissors in part, but uh, I'm going to show you again. So, what I do use this extensively is for cutting thread. Uh, this is uh, I do have specific thread for cutting thread. Uh, it's a small thread. It's a nigiri basami. It's in Japanese, but I, I use I like to use these scissors a lot because I, it's a bigger, so I can use much more of a snap, or and I can much more imply more pressure, power into it. So you know, it cuts very nice. Have you, did you just see it? It's uh, uh, let me show you just in the background like this. So I just you know cut it like this. It's just uh, it's very light of a cut. You don't really feel any of a pressure if you while you do the cutting it it cuts very nice it's a polyester thread and this one is a uh, hands rami this is natural thread wax thread pretty thick it's uh, about one mil thick of thread and, and it cuts like nothing okay it cuts very nice you know it's like that it's a uh, I can do multiple cuts also if you want to cut two threads like this and finally the leather you guys may wonder you can cut can you cut leather uh, this is a problem uh, if you see okay one thing that here is that you can really adjust the fit of the of the scissors, uh, they have a POM uh, insert inside here. It's a plastic ring. It looks like plastic. Uh, this does give some kind of give to the scissors. So uh, as the scissors wears down, finally, 
uh, it, they need to adjust their tension to it. So most high-end scissors they have like screw uh, screws inside on the on the tip here, on the pot here. So you can uh, unscrew it, you can sharpen it, and then you uh, unscrew uh, screw it back, and then you adjust the tension of it. Okay, so scissor they must have to adjust their tension to it. Cheap scissors they don't have it. So as this one they don't have the the, the screws. So you can really adjust the tension. Why I'm saying th this now is that if you are trying to cut thick stuff, like thick leather, sometimes, I'm not sure if you have already experienced this, uh, if you try to cut thick stuff, what happens is, I'm going to just uh, show you here, I don't want to ruin my scissors. Sometimes, you know, oh, we cut, okay. I should. Sometimes you, the material that you, you want to cut just stuck inside like this. Okay, now, come on, it's not focusing well. Okay. Well, this this is really thin material, so it doesn't really happen. But so sometimes just the you the material you want to cut just sticks between the between this blade. Okay, just like that. Okay, oh, I'm sure. I'm not sure exactly how to show this. Sure. Yeah, like this. Okay, I should say. Okay. So, as you, if you ever done this, you are ruining your scissors because you are bending your blade outside, and then you will lose the tension, good enough tension that will cut next time. So, if you are cutting thick stuff like leather you will likely ruin your your scissors like especially like this ones okay so you could you could try to cut thin leathers uh, I, I tr I, I've tested this some of my on my leathers previously and this is around like 0 0.8 to 1 mil thick leather and uh, this is the maximum that it can be cut uh, this is chrome I mean vegetable tan leather it's a 0 0.8 to 1 mil thickness and it cuts with, you know, it cuts very clean. Oh, come on, focus. It cuts very clean, but it feels like if I go any thicker, I will ruin this scissor. I, I, I can feel it, okay? So it, okay, it, it, it cuts leather clean, but with a very effort. Same as this one, okay? Okay, it cuts, but I feel like I'm ruining the scissors. So below this thickness, or even a really thin, like a sheepskin or goat skin, you can really cut very well because it's less tougher and it's it's much thinner. All right, so you can use this for leather working applications for cutting out patterns. Uh, it just cuts really well with the cutting out patterns. Okay. You can cut cut it with the uh, cut patterns, but not the leather. You can also use this with the scissors. I mean, the to cut threads. And uh, like I said, this cuts half a million times without problem. Oh, they just uh, t test this with the uh, manual manually. So it's uh, it's uh, proven by the company, and uh, it's proven by me. It's uh, it's a nice scissors. So if you ever go to Japan, you know. No, buy the scissors. So uh, very nice. It's a fit curve titanium. I call it premium, premium curve. All right. So uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, this will help my channel to grow and uh, help me to continue doing this. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, this is leatherworking tool review channel and also leatherworking how to. A video channel so if you are interested in networking you should subscribe and uh, I will be back more with uh, more good videos all right so all right thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next video bye bye